Hi students, my name is Jordan. Welcome to our English class. Você se lembra que na última aula usamos várias palavras para descrever pessoas? Na aula de hoje, nós aprenderemos a dar opinião sobre diversos assuntos. Let's get started! Look at the image. What is this? Is this a book page or social media post? Right, this is a social media post. Como sabemos? Quais elementos nos levam a perceber isso? A foto, os comentários, as imagens, tudo isso indica que esse post foi feito para uma rede social. Can you see the photo? What is the girl's name? It's Manuela. And what is this post about? Yes, it's about school subjects. History, science, geography, math, English. There is a question in the post. What is this question? Yes, the question is, what is your favorite school subject? I like science. What about you? What's your favorite school subject? In the post, Some students express their opinions about school subjects. Let's read them. I like math because it's challenging. I like geography because it's interesting. I love history because it's cool. I like English because it's easy. I don't like math because it's difficult. I love PE, physical education, because it's awesome. As we read, the comments are full of school subjects. Do you know how to pronounce them in English? Let's do it together. School subjects. English. English. Math. Math. Science. Science. History. History, geography, geography, PE, physical education, social media icons. Do you know this icon? What does it mean? I like. What about this one? I don't like. And this one? I love. Take a look at the table. Let's complete the sentences according to the icons. I'll give you a few seconds for you to take a look at it. Manuela. I. Love science. Agora com vocês. 
Patrick. I don't like math. Jennifer. I love PE. Sueli. I love history. John. I like math. Patricia. I like English. In the social media post, people express their preferences by saying, I like, I don't like, and I love. They also used some important words. Let's review some of them. Look at the images. Difficult. Easy. Challenging. What's letter A? Easy. What about letter B? Challenging. And letter C? Difficult. Awesome. Cool. Uncool. What's letter A? Cool. What about letter B? Awesome. And letter C? Uncool. Interesting. Boring. What's letter A? Interesting. How about letter B? Boring. Now it's time to use these words. Tight rope walking. Is it easy or challenging? It's challenging. To ace a test. Is it awesome or boring? It's awesome. To get wet during the rain. Se molhar todo na chuva. Is it interesting or uncool? It's uncool. To go to the beach on a hot day. Ir para a praia num dia muito quente. Is it cool or boring? It's cool. To fly a plane. Is it easy or difficult? It's difficult. Você sabia que em alguns países, muitos adolescentes passam suas férias de verão em um acampamento? Esse acampamento é conhecido como Summer Camp. Para você participar de um deles, você deve preencher uma pesquisa, a survey. Eu decidi preencher uma delas. Let's check. Quaker Summer Camp 2021. Survey. 
what's your favorite sport? Soccer, tennis, cycling. Mm, it's soccer. Soccer is challenging. What's your favorite school subject? Math, science, physical education. Hmm. It's math. Math is awesome. What's your favorite kind of movie? Comedy movies, adventure movies, horror movies. Well, I like comedy movies. Comedy movies are interesting. What's your favorite kind of music? Rock music, country music, or pop music? This one is easy. I love rock music. Rock music is cool. Look at the image. What's your favorite school subject? What's your favorite? We can use this question in many situations. For example, sport. What's your favorite sport? I like soccer. What about you? What's your favorite sport? Soccer team. What's your favorite soccer team? I like Barcelona. And you? What's your favorite soccer team? Kind of music. What's your favorite kind of music? It's rock music. What about you? Como vocês viram, usamos essa pergunta para perguntar sobre preferências. Agora você já sabe utilizá-la. No MCA do dia 15 de junho, você vai encontrar vários posts de redes sociais. Nesses posts, as pessoas expressaram suas opiniões e preferências sobre diversos assuntos. Por que você não tenta ir na sua casa descobrir as preferências de sua família? Por exemplo, what's your favorite soccer player? E quando você tiver as respostas, faça uma lista dos cinco mais votados. The top five list. Ah, e se você me perguntar, eu irei responder. I like Cristiano Ronaldo. He's awesome. Do you like math? Você gosta de matemática? Infelizmente, alguns alunos não têm muita afinidade com essa disciplina. Sem a matemática, ficaria muito difícil realizar algumas atividades do nosso dia a dia. Comece a refletir em quais situações do seu dia a dia você precisa dela. E então, eu tenho certeza que você entenderá a importância que nós devemos dar a essa disciplina. We have come to the end of our class. It was nice to have you here. Bye bye. Take care.